morning. I have some administrative announcements. If you have a cell phone, please put it on vibrate, not on ringtone. You're more than welcome to take pictures with your cell phones. And if you are presenting a wreath this morning and you haven't checked in, you need to do that now rather than later. Our program is going to be split into two parts. If you look at your program, you can see that. An opening ceremony this morning. We're going to dedicate a Patriot Grave Market and pay our formal respect, respect for our wreath presentations. And then after lunch, we'll come back to the chapel where our guest speaker, Stephen Rouch, will give us a seminar on what happened during the second siege of Augusta. And then we'll go out to the battlefield for, for what I hope will be some excitement for you. If you haven't been to one of these things before, it can, it can get to be loud. So I hope you have earplugs. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'll rise for the invocation, the advancement of colors, the Pledge of Allegiance, and the SAR Pledge, I'm going to ask from Reverend Smith to deliver the invocation. Let us pray. Almighty God, you gave us freedom. You gave us courage and you gave us peace. May you watch over us this day, that in all things we may ever give you honor and praise. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Color Guard Commander, advance the colors. Color Guard, attend, hunt, carry colors. Forward, march. I'm going to ask Ted Walker to uh, say the Pledge of Allegiance. Lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 State President of the South Carolina Society of Sons of the American Revolution. Oh, left. 
to lead us in the SAR pledge. We, the descendants of the heroes of the American Revolution, who by their sacrifices established the United States of America, reaffirm our faith in the principles of liberty and our constitutional republic and solemnly pledge ourselves to defend them against every foe. Thank you. Please be seated. Bringing greetings from Georgia Society, Sons of the American Revolution, the State President David Jessel. Thank you, Jessel. Before I bring my greetings, I'd like to thank Sonny for all the time and effort that he put into setting up this ceremony. On behalf of the Georgia Society, Sons of the American Revolution, our 35 chapters and over 2,100 members, we bring you greetings and wish you a great ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bringing greetings from the South Carolina Society, Sons of the American Revolution, is our state president, David Smith. The Sons of the American Revolution is an organization comprised of men who are direct descendants of the first American patriots. Our forefathers fought for self-governance. They fought for freedom from an overreaching government. They fought and died for freedom from tyranny and for our God-given right to liberty. We in the Sons of the American Revolution take pride in commemorating the battles and skirmishes that took place during our revolution. Today, we are particularly honored to remember the sacrifices made here in my hometown of Augusta on the banks of the Savannah, Savannah River in 1781. Patriot forces were commanded by General Andrew Pickens from South Carolina, Colonel Harry Lee from Virginia, and from Georgia, Colonel Elijah Clark. An expert will give you the details on this siege. I will suffice to say that June was a bad month for the Loyalists at Fort Cornwallis. General Pickens called on the British commander to surrender the fort on June the 4th. That was King George's birthday. The next day, the fort surrendered to the Patriots. On behalf of the South Carolina Society, Sons of the American Revolution, welcome to today's commemoration. Thank you. Thank you, David. I'm going to ask Georgia Society State Regent O.B. McCorkle to bring greetings. Madam Regent. Good morning. It is my pleasure to bring you greetings on behalf of the 8,000 members and 116 chapters of the Georgia State Society Daughters of the American Revolution. Um, I'm always so inspired to be able to attend events like this. Number one, because the SAR is so diligent in commemorating and remembering historical moments in our history, especially from the American Revolution. And secondly, because I see so many daughters and CAR that support the SAR events and, and activities. It is just heartwarming to know that our two organizations or three organizations can come together and do what we need to do to share history um, with this generation that we're living in now. Um, so much is not being taught uh, in traditional manners, and so it, it's up to people sometimes outside of the school system and organizations like ours to make sure that we share history because there's so much that can be learned there. Not that we just want to remember it, but we also want to learn from it. So I commend all of those who were part of the planning and the organizing of this event. Um, not sure, if, are we virtual also? Okay, I was gonna say that adds a whole nother element to it, um, as I well know. So I commend all of you for, for recognizing the siege of Augusta, and I know that it's gonna be just the most sincere remembrance of this event, and I appreciate being invited, and thank you for all your hospitality. We did a Zoom last year for the first siege that went nationwide, but we uh, wanted to do a, a live uh, commemoration this year. 
Bringing greetings from the South Carolina Society to order for the American Revolution is Robin Marines, Director for District 3. Madam Director. Good morning. On behalf of the South Carolina State Regent, Bonnie Bell Moffitt, I bring greetings from our state. South Carolina is honored to be represented at the 240th anniversary of the Second Siege of Augusta, a landmark event that helped change the tide of the Southern Campaign in the American Revolution. We commend the National Society of the Sons of the American Revolution in hosting this event, supporting the common goals of the NSDAR, NSSAR, and NSCAR in honoring our patriotic ancestors through historical education. Thank you again for this opportunity to participate in this noteworthy occasion. Thank you, ma'am. Bringing greetings from the National Society, Children of the American Revolution is National Second Vice President Gabe Bobo. Good morning. On behalf of National President Jacob Schattinger and the 10,000 members of the National Society of the American Revolution, I bring you greetings. In 1781, General Pickens, White Horse Harry Lee, and Colonel Elijah Clark led a second siege against the fort in Augusta that the British assumed was not able to be penetrated. Patriots constructed a tower that was 30 feet tall on which they were able to mount a cannon. It was with this cannon that they were able to penetrate the fort, which led to the surrender on June 6th. Surrounding the fort, also known as Fort Cornwallis, was one of the first losses that would help to culminate in Cornwallis' surrender at Yorktown in October. Thank you for the opportunity to honor the men that fought here. Thank you. Bringing greetings from the Georgia Society, Children of the American Revolution, is First Vice President Hope Elizabeth Frederick. Vice President Frederick. Good morning. On behalf of our 16 societies and over 500 members uh, of the Georgia State Society, Children of the American Revolution, I bring you greetings. And thank you guys so much for coming and joining us in honoring this amazing event of history. Thank you. Bringing greetings from the South Carolina Society, Children of the American Revolution, is past state president, Joseph Smith. Joseph. Good morning. Good morning. On behalf of Jay Bobo, the South Carolina Society, Children of the American Revolution State President, and our over 200 members, I bring you greetings this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Are there any descendants of the uh, compatriots of the patriots who fought in the first or second sieges with us in the, in the audience? If they are, if you'll please stand. Yeah. Thank you for being with us. Six, that's great. We have in front of us, hidden at the moment, a patriot. Many years ago, citizens such as William Bugs Sr. answered the call of their country to fight for independence. William signed the Georgia Declaration of Independence in Richmond County on July 25, 1777, and served as a lieutenant and later as a captain in the Georgia Continental Light Horse Battalion. 
He fought at the Battle of Beard's Bluff in December of 1776, and the Battle of Ochi Ferry in November 1781, where he was wounded and captured. We pause today to reflect and remember the great sacrifices that William and so many other American patriots made in order that we might live in a free country and a constitutional republic. The many hardships endured, sickness and disease, injury and death, assured that one's liberty was bought with a price. It is with a great deal of pride and honor that on behalf of the Georgia Society Sons of the American Revolution, I dedicate this granted SAR gray marker that will be placed on Captain Bug's grave in humble appreciation and that Patriot Bugs and thousands of others accomplished to give us the land of the free and the home of the brave. May God continue to watch over this valiant soul and may God bless America and allow the flame of patriotism to remain with us always. Thank you. presentation over to our Colonel William Pugh, Chapter President, Alan Smith. Thank you. Uh, just a few uh, words of instruction. Uh, each time we do this, we do it in a different way. So uh, don't be surprised if this is not a different, different way. Uh, what I'm going to ask you to do is I call your name if you'll simply stand from where you are, walk to the center aisle, and then come down towards the center reef and make your um, your honors at that point. And then after you make your honors, excuse me, <coughs> return to your seat and uh, return to the seat from the come down the center and then return from the outside. That way, that when the next person is called, they can come down to the center. And to begin with. I call upon the Honorable David Jessel, State President, Georgia Society, Something American Revolution. Thank you. The Honorable David Smith, State President, South Carolina, Sons of the American Revolution. Joe Van Cura, Senior Vice President, Georgia Sons of the American Revolution. Bill Tankersley, East Fall Line, Region Vice President, Georgia Society, Sons of the American Revolution. Ted Walker, Piedmont Regional Vice President, South Carolina Sons of the American Revolution, and President of the Henry Lawrence Chapter. Alton McLeod, Vice President, Little River Chapter, Georgia Sons of the American Revolution.
Alan C. Smith, second vice president, Colonel William Pugh Chapter, George Society. Larry Whitfields, past president, Georgia Hatcham, Chapter of Georgia Society. Walt Reed, past president, Marquis de Lafayette, Chapter of Georgia Society. Steve Burke, Patrick Carr Rangers, Chapter of Georgia Society. Wallace Smith, Jr., Four Rivers Chapter of Georgia Society. Jess Smith, Fall Line Chapter, George Society. Emil Decker, Robert Forsyth Chapter, George Society. Alter Hills, Wiregrass Chapter, Georgia Society. John Basemore, Briar Creek Chapter, Georgia Society. Thomas Mill, past president, Mill Chapter, Mill Creek Chapter. George the Sun. <coughs> Gary J. Hoyt, past president, John, Captain John Collins Chapter, and Joe Ventura. Also representing the Georgia Committee Chairman, Georgia Veterans. Gerald Pitts, President of Cambridge Chapters, South Carolina Society. Bill Wilson, President, Godfrey, um, Dorero Chapter, South Carolina. I don't, I'm sorry. Okay. Gary Bevo, Major uh, Robert Crawford Chapters, South Carolina Society. Dave DeMars, General uh, Andrew Pickens Chapter, South Carolina Society. Brenda Davidson, Jessel, uh, President of Women's I mean, Ladies Auxiliary, Georgia Society. Linda Reed, Marquis de Lafayette, Chapter, uh, Ladies Auxiliary, Georgia Society.
for the Daughters of the American Revolution, O.B. McCorkle State Regiment, Georgia Society, and SDAR. Robert Vereens, Director of District 3, representing State uh, Regent, Moneyville, Moffitt, South Carolina Society, and SDAR. Linda Tindall, past uh, chaplain, uh, Philadelphia Wind Chapter, Georgia Society, and SDAR. Case Galakis, Registrar of Kennesaw Mountain Chapter, Georgia Society and SDAR. Brenda Davidson Jessel, uh, General David uh, Daniel Noonan, Chapter in SDAR. Peggy Reese Buckner, past regent, Henry Walton chapter, uh, George Society and SDAR. Evie Whitfield, Tomachichi chapter, George Society and SDAR. Susan McElwain, Regent Stallings Chapter in Georgia Society NSDAR. Karen Duke Holly, Regent Captain John. If there's a mistake in the thing, it's John Wilson Chapter, uh, Georgia Society NSDAR. Christian Hoynes, uh, High Tower chap uh, Trail Chapter, Church Society and SDAR. <coughs> Debbie Powell, First Vice Regent, College Hill Chapter, Georgia Society and SDAR. Sue Pittman, second vice president, Augusta chapter in Georgia Society in SDAR. Kathy Bonahan, regent, Esther Marion chapter, South Carolina Society in SDAR. Gina Bobo Regent, Elizabeth Hutchison, Jackson Chapter, South Carolina Society, and SDAR. And for the children of the American Revolution, Hope Elizabeth Frederick, First Vice President, Georgia State Society, CAR. Joy Frederick, President, State Society, Second Vice President. Isabel Lowry, President, Suki Hart, Chet Society, Georgia State Society, CAR. Noah Tindall, Honorary Ar Organizing President, Elisha Wynn Chapter, Georgia State Society, CAR. Joseph Smith, Past State President, South Carolina Society, CAR. And also the President of uh, James 
Williams Society, CESA, CAR. Alex Walker, Vice President, William Stroud Society, South Carolina Society, Sons of the American Revolution. Other organizations. Colonel of uh, Donald Stevens, USA retired military officers of Association of America. Kiskalakis, Georgia uh, Ambassador and National Society's Descendants of American Farmers. No attendant Georgia Brigade, descendants of Washington's Army at Valley Forge. Sue H. Pittman, First Georgia Company, Jamestown Society. Brenda Davidson, uh, Jessel, second vice president, of the United States, daughters of the 1812 Georgia Society. And before I recognize our descendants of um, one of our other persons who fought here is uh, Dr. Brady here. I did not see him earlier. Dr. James uh, Brady, Military Order of American of World Wars. And representing descendants of Captain uh, James Cartledge and Private William Entrican, Pat West Watson, Ivan West, and Donald West. Is there anyone else who uh, wished to render honors and was not recognized earlier? Thank you. This concludes our service of rendering honors. Each year we um, try to make sure we include everyone. Every year we always make mistakes. So we ask for your indulgence. And if you have any suggestions how to make it better for next year, or uh, if you want to do it, contact Sonny. We're going to break for lunch and then come back if you want to attend the battle seminar. We're going to come back in at 1 o'clock. Yes, sir. Back into the as your program reads. So I just want to make sure I covered everything. And then after uh, Stevens battle seminar, which lasts about thirty minutes to forty-five minutes, then we'll go out on the battlefield of the first city of Augusta and render on, and render honors. And this would be a good time for some of you who might want to re retrieve your wreaths so we can clear the platform for Stephen. Thank you for being here. We'll see you back at 1 o'clock. Last night, I'm just saying, 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 I'm just sa